There was a time when a roller coaster breaking a new world record actually meant something. Now it seems every new coaster breaks some sort of record. In today's Coaster Rant, I will be discussing these insane records and why they no longer hold any weight, in my opinion. If we were to look back into history of roller coasters, there was a time when the only records that mattered were either tallest, fastest, or longest coaster on the planet. And it didn't matter if the roller coaster was built out of wood or steel. In today's world, there's so many different types of roller coasters, it literally creates confusion for the general public. Not that I'm complaining that there are different types of coasters. Now that you have the tallest, fastest, longest, most inversions, most airtime moments, first of its kinds, first element ever, steepest drop, tallest inversion, longest break run. Well, that last one was kind of a joke, but yeah, we all know B&M would take that record. You can break all these records in different types of roller coasters, which are, but not limited to, steel, wood, stand-up, inverted, floorless, wing, dive, flying, traditional sit-down steel, hybrid, spinning, hyper, giga, launching, backwards, shuttle, suspended, and so on. Records nowadays even include new elements, like when Maverick opened up, Cedar Point stated it was the first ever roller coaster to feature a twisted horseshoe roll, which is basically two corkscrews back to back but in reverse directions. Twisted Cyclone, which opened this year at Six Flags over Georgia, featured the first ever reverse Cobra roll, which actually looks like a twisted horseshoe roll or two barrel rolls after another with a 180 degree turn in between. Nonetheless, it's slightly stretching it, but calling it the inversion as a reverse Cobra roll. Imagine you're the GP and you see a sign exclaiming the world's tallest, fastest, longest roller coaster. The general public will most likely gloss over the fact that it's the tallest dive coaster or the longest inverted coaster, the fastest wooden coaster. To them, they're all the same, so they would think it's the tallest roller coaster in the world. So then you as a coaster nerd will spend the next several hours trying to explain to them that it's actually not the tallest and you're not going to get anywhere. But anyways, the fact that it's not even half as tall as the tallest coaster in the world, some of these records are straight up confusing. My personal favorite is Fury 325, which is the tallest, fastest giga coaster which literally means it's the tallest and fastest coaster that stands between 300 and 400 feet. Talk about being precise. This year, Steel Vengeance claimed to have broken 10 world records. Some of these are legit. Some of them are, well, milking it, you'd say. The records they claim are world's tallest hybrid coaster, world's fastest hybrid coaster, world's steepest drop on a hybrid coaster, World's longest drop on a hybrid coaster. World's longest hybrid coaster. Most inversions on a hybrid roller coaster. Fastest airtime hill on a hybrid coaster. Most airtime on a hybrid coaster. Most airtime on any roller coaster. World's first hyper hybrid coaster. So yeah, talk about overkill. Here are the park records. Most steel roller coaster track in one amusement park. Most roller coaster track at one amusement park. Most rides at one amusement park. Most roller coasters over 200 feet at one amusement park. Most roller coasters with a drop of 90 degrees or more at one amusement park. Not to say that some of these records are impressive, because a few are definitely pretty impressive. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying these rides are lame because of the records that they are claiming. No, I'm saying that the amusement park corporations are going to the extreme lengths to claim any records that they can. Because it'll look good with the marketing. 
record-breaking rides try to make it sound like since it's breaking all these records, it's gonna be great, right? Well, not always. Just because it's the tallest or fastest inverted coaster doesn't mean it's the best. This is the main reason why I no longer care about these records. I don't care if it's faster than any other floorless coaster. I just want it to be a great roller coaster. I feel that some amusement park corporations are passing up great roller coasters that they could add to their collection only because they could stamp some kind of neat record to it. Well, honestly, they just make them up anyways. Don't even get me started on some of these terms. I see coaster enthusiasts arguing over what's an actual hypercoaster, giga, strata, etc. Oh, and that ever-going hybrid wooden controversy that RMC started. Some claim that Lightning Rod, Wildfire, Outlaw Run are in fact hybrid coasters and not true wooden roller coasters. I say who cares, it's a great ride, just have fun and ignore the hoopla. Well that's it for today's video. What do you think? Are record breaking stats annoying to you? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe, check out more of my content, and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter.